On the new touchscreen controller version of the data classifier option, we've made a few changes in this to uh, help assist the uh, operator. One of the things we've done is we've made it to where we don't need the linking of your smartphone with the Wi-Fi radio to see what the message on the radar is compared to the vehicle going past the classifier. We've added that into the touchscreen to where it's all done right up front here and we'll show that in a little bit. So we have our display run and demo. Let's talk now about the classifier. The classifier we've turned on. Now let's go and align the classifier. And as with any version of Wonko classifier, it is a side fire classifier. You still need to turn your lower radar classifier module to the 45 degree angle. That still must be done even on this version. Now let's go look at the Align Classifier. Align Classifier now is showing the radar to the left along with the classifier speed. Since we are in demo mode, it's showing us that we got cars coming by and bam, there it went and it hit the classifier at 34 also. Okay. So what we're doing is we're basically showing that you'll see the radar speed of the car coming into the sign and then bam, the car is going to drive by the classifier and you're going to get a reading and there you go. Now, in the real life, you're probably not going to get these to match quite so ev evenly. So what you can do if adjusting the 45 degree angle isn't just enough, we have this adjustment percentage. We can adjust minus 10% of the speed and we can adjust plus 10 percent of the speed. So if the angle's not enough, use that adjust uh, slide lever to fine-tune the classifier speed to the radar speed. And you can see here we went 10 over and that brought that number higher than what the radar is. So again we can go under here and we'll see that the next classifier is going to be lower than the radar speed. See, we had 50 to 45. So that's how you adjust the classifier if the angle is just not enough. You always want to start right at zero, and that's where you start from. Adjust plus and minus as your deployment uh, is, is needed. So let's go back to the next classifier menu, which is the tune class type. And this is where we're going to tune the classifier program to what is the proper vehicle uh, coming past the classifier. Is it a car? Is it a truck? Is it a bike? Uh, we got uh, different things going on here. We still are in demo mode and we're seeing the message on the sign is the speed of the vehicle that we think is coming by. And so we uh, see that the approach is going to be something and you got a truck setting. The departs going to be a number for a different car going past the unit and it has a setting, but very similar to the speed setting, we can adjust the length of the vehicle to better match what really is going by. In some cases, somebody might want a delivery truck that's going by to be called a truck and not a car. In other places, somebody might want only a semi-truck to be called a truck. So if you really want to work that way, you can come in here and adjust the class type and again by sliding. Now we go a little bit more than 10%, we can go all the way 100% minus, and we can go plus 100%. So as you'll see here, we're going to make these things change quite a bit as to what you really want the, the unit to be as you go past. So you can turn a car into a truck, you can turn a truck into a car. Uh, it all depends on what type of vehicle you're wanting to classify these things. We only have three, truck, car, and bike. Again, we start at zero and we work from there and adjust to match what is going by the actual sign. So we think we have everything aligned, everything set up. We've set up the speed. We've calibrated the trucks, the alignment, the approach, the depart. So let's go back and see kind of what we're, we're looking at here as far as some more advanced settings. So just like in radar, we got the cog, we got this little disk here, and we're going to select that. And this is our classifier data log. And this is download classifier and clear classifier. 
and it also shows us the latest uh, settings that we got on here, the number of records, the approach, the departing, the first vehicle, date and time. This is a very important screen because you want to be able to make sure that you have the right date and time in there. Uh, I've had plenty of phone calls where people have not set their time and not done anything right and that's basically in the standard message board settings to set your time but you want to make sure before you really walk away from this unit and leave it for a month uh, on the wrong date and the wrong time your reports are going to be all messed up if you do make sure that we have some valid times and here we do this is when we're doing it and it's basically showing that we departed and we had a car and we had uh, what the speed is and again we're running in demo mode so this is all just adding up uh, one of the things that um, I do if you're not running in demo mode I'm gonna go back here real quick and turn demo mode off what I want to show you is we're gonna put it in speed okay as if we're in a real live deployment let's go back into here so I want to show you how you can test to see if your uh, classifier is working when you might not have any traffic. Sometimes it's tough, you put these things out there in off hours and you can't tell whether it's working or not because there's not a car coming by yet. What I do to test that is I go get one of the spare numbers from the regulatory sign, uh, go in the battery box, pick a digit, uh, you know, if you're not using the zero or a one or a three, grab one of those uh, aluminum placards and wave it in front of the radar message sign. And you'll see that I'm going in, I'm going out, and the numbers are changing. And so I could see that we are changing values. So this is a way to test when you don't have a vehicle coming by your unit. No sense waiting out there for a long time if it's uh, not, not very busy of a day. So that's one way that I use to test to see that the classifier is working. So we've deployed our unit now. We've had it running out in the street for a few hours. We've gathered up some cars going by. And so now we're, let's pull some data off and do some reports. So the first thing we're going to do is, since we're at the sign, we're going to use the USB interface port, plug in a USB thumb drive, and we're going to download the data. We'll take that back to our office, to a laptop or a desktop computer, run it with the WTA software that we uh, provide with each sign and then we can make some reports. So plug in the USB drive into the USB interface. It's always helpful to have them with the light and it flashed, it recognized it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and just download classifier and there it looks like we just blinked, we grabbed it, we downloaded a classifier. We only have 136 records so it went pretty quick. If we wanted to go faster with it, or if we had more records, it might take some more time to do that. 136 went pretty quick. Let's just do it again, just to see. And their download was complete, and it gives us a file name, but we downloaded a whole 136 records. So that's the file that you can look at on your computer or on your thumb drive that's going into your computer. That is what we did right now. Let's go back. Let's pull this guy out of here, the thumb drive out. And let's say we're on another deployment and we want to get things set up and uh, do it again or we want, to, we want to make sure that we start afresh now because we're done with this job, we're going to go to another job, but we don't want the same records on from this job to be influenced on the next job. So we can clear the classifier data and we just have a button here, we clear classifier data, warning all data records will be deleted. Yes, we know that, so we're going to say no is the default. We, we ask you multiple times in case you really just like to hit buttons, but we're going to say yes. We're going to go OK, and classifier data is now empty. So everything's empty. The log is clear. When we deploy it on the next time, we're good to go. We're starting with record number one. If you'd like to see more videos on Wonko products, please visit wonko.com videos.